Hey church family, gifts are often powerful, meaningful vehicles in communicating love, care, and appreciation. Many of us really enjoy both giving and receiving gifts. Sometimes we receive a gift that we're like, we open it and it's like, oh, um, thank you. Other times we open and re we receive a gift. We aggressively receive it and bring it in. We really, really appreciate it. But what about the gifts that God gives us? Sure, it would be simple and easy for us to sit in the list all the different gifts God gives us every single day. Our families, our jobs, relationships, and friends. But I wonder, are there gifts that God gives us, maybe even daily, that we just seem to ignore? One time in the scriptures, we read that Moses specifically asked God for a gift. Moses wanted to see God's glory. Now sure, it didn't pan out the way Moses was anticipating, but Moses did experience God in an authentic and intimate way. We are in part two of the One Another series, and this week we will be discussing and talking about what it means to accept one another. I'm wondering, is there a connection between what it means to accept one another and experiencing God's glory? The gift of experiencing God in a new and authentic and intimate way. Is there a connection between experiencing God personally and how we actually treat and accept and embrace one another? So I hope you join us this Sabbath as we take a look at what it means to accept one another.